On April 3rd, 1974, the day began as usual, like any other day. The storm is severe, a massive storm. The attraction indicated by the hook in our radar screen is now moving into the city of Xenia. Persons in the city of Xenia and along the track just south of it, Arrowhead, Xenia, Central State, should take cover immediately. You know how they always say it sounds like a train? Mm -hmm. Well, it does. It, it sounded horribly loud. There was all this noise. It sounded like screaming, but it was a roof, nails being ripped out of the roof. He saw the mass of black coming towards him, which was, he thought, a flock of birds. He started storming, and we wouldn't think of me about tornadoes. And it went out and looked up at the sky, and the sky was changing colors. It was real, like a greenish, like a bruise. My interpretation of a tornado was the one that was on the Wizard of Oz movie. You know, that cyclone-looking thing. And I never dreamed that a tornado would look like that. Uh, the sound. I can't describe to you. It's just, just, just roaring. It became just it, totally dark gray. The windows were, it was all glass windows across the store. And it got in totally dark gray. And then the windows actually started to bow because of the pressure. We decided we wanted to get a pizza, so we went to the Pizza Hut. And that's where we were when we first saw the signs of the tornado. Somebody said, that's a tornado. And so we all took off. And we were having chili for supper. My son and his friend went up on top of the garage roof to see if they could see what was happening. And they saw the thing coming towards us. He said it looked like black smoke said there was these things everywhere and they ran downstairs of course after we yelled at him get off the roof we made it to the hallway between the bathrooms which was probably about a uh, maybe about a three by four foot square area and I, I just said get down and cover your heads there were bricks and debris flying right over our head kind of like a rapid fire you know it's like choo 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 there was a little window to the basement. I heard it break open, and something just kept beating me in the back. And what it was was the window had blown out, and all that debris was what debris could come through the window started hitting me in the back. As soon as the noise settled down, and we looked up and we could see the sky in the back, you know, and everything, we went out to went out to see what was happening and see how what happened to our neighbors and things. You couldn't even really tell where you were at almost because the because the, the destruction was so crazy. Everything was gone, and you could actually look over at the high school when there were buses setting on their, laying on their side on top of the, the high school. I mean, it was just devastating. You know, I can't, I can't put into words how it felt just looking around, and everything's pretty much gone. Arrowhead Subdivision was across the street from us, the houses that had been there just moments before were just nothing but rubble now. They were looked like matchsticks. Our house was a, a, a brick ranch house with no basement. So all all sides except one, I think, and part half of the front were were down. My good dishes and in in glasses, glassware, the crystal were all kept perfectly inside one of the cabinets, but there was devastation all over the place the rest of the time looking up and seeing a small object as, as, as light and ethereal as, say, uh, a straw, a sippy straw, embedded inches into a tree, and just the frightening force that that takes. That's, that's a, and, and there were little, little things like that all over town. It was just hard to recognize the town that, that I had grown up in. I didn't know where anything was. It was, it was very disconcerting because you, you didn't know which way to turn. Nobody knew which way to turn. I remember the next day taking a shower and using herbal essence shampoo to get these shards of glass and shingle and debris out of my hair. And, and one of the smells I'll never forget from the tornado is the odor of that herbal essence uh, shampoo. And then we were faced with the cleanup and what do we do? It was just a town that seemed to come together. It wasn't done by one person. We were all at Shawnee School when President Nixon came and visited and was looking over the devastation to see what the federal government could, could do. Uh, the morale of the people of Zinnia couldn't be higher. I'm telling you, in any kind of competition, I want them uh, certainly, uh, I'll bet on them. We built a house with the basement 
and I will never have a house that doesn't have a basement um, from now on. We were so blessed and so fortunate that we, we escaped with just some memories. You can replace the pictures, you can replace the lamps, you can replace the sofas. What's important is the relationship and the love you have in your family and with your friends. Mm-hmm.